video we are going to start so in the last two video we already seen about the importing the libraries how which library we are going to take and we already seen about the visualizing some some basic pre-processing step we have just uh, saw in the last video okay <clears throat> i'm sorry so in this particular video i am going to start with the new particular data visualizing term so we are going to use the all the visualizing library so how we can use to, use to visualize this data that is basically the water quality prediction that is this data set we will take and we will just visualize this data set okay so let's get start with the plotting of the heat map in that heat map first of all i am just writing at which particular size of the that is figure size view we are going to plot that is a fixed size and i can just mention here uh, something 12,8 uh, whatever we can just write here okay and the second thing is basically i'm just going to plot the heat map and what what in the heat map we are going to plot the correlation correlation basically means that particular feature has a how much correlated with that other features okay and that particular feature which particular feature has the high, highest correlation with the target that is a portability and which particular feature has the lowest correlation okay so now what we can just write here uh, that is df dot code just write here df dot code and we don't we don't need to do anything and even we can just pass i note anode equal to true basically means we need the annotation part that is not a annotation i'm just saying means we need that particular uh an annotate data that is the name of that data and this is what we can just write here and the, just run this and that's enough so we will get some uh heat map of this one so this is what heat map we are going to get so we are able to see that portability uh, that is p uh, portability with pro uh, that is portability you are getting as one means high uh, you have the correlation as one basically you do you, you have same the data set you have the same number of rows that's why you are getting as one i hope so you know about the correlation and and then after you can just say about the turbidity with the portability then after ph with portability hardness with portability sulfate with the portability so on which particular features you are getting the highest correlation with your with your target means the target value has the if you are just going to change some features value on that means your target value is going to be changed means on the basic of which particular features which particular feature is going to contribute you most and for that what we are just going to check means which has the highest value so we are going to see this is the minus one this is even in the minus one in the solids you have 0 0.03 in the uh, rollo mines also you don't have 0 0.04 in the uh, sulfate you have minus uh, in the conductivity also you have minus something so you are getting some more correlation with this particular we can just say about the solids in the solids you are getting something 0 0.034 correlation okay and that is really a good day we can just say and then after in the lowest correlation you are going to go with this particular uh, minus 0 0.024 that is a sulfate why correlation you are getting a sulfate for the it is really low even for the ph because whenever you are get, going to do the when the ph is really less okay means you can't drink any water that is really a ph of c3 4 or whatever we can say we are just taking as normal as 7 or something acidity like 6.9 or something adding some sulfate on that so this is how we are just able to see that correlation of data is looking so even you can just go more visualize even you can just see which particular features on the features and the features also you can just see okay if you are going to see about the sulfate with the ph you are you are able to see in this okay so that is the sulfate is basically what we are getting here with the sulfate and the ph that is basically 0 0.0 180 you, you are getting so that is basically a good pg and the hardness we are getting is the highest that the ph is going to more towards the hardness like a 0 0.08 whatever you are getting i hope so you can just go with this thing okay and the next thing is what what we are going to do we are going to do the count plot means we are able to see in the portability that is your target how many you have the total number of zero that is a zero label and how many you uh, that is that contains that is not portability or not safe for drinking the water and if it is contains as one that is really a safe for the drinking water okay so we can just do with the help of a count plot that is a sns dot count plot you can just write here sns dot count plot here and you can just pass that for which particular columns you are going to do that is portability okay and then after what we are going to pass here that is data which data that is data frame we are just taking is df dot data frame 
just see what we are getting so we already able to see that the total number of count it is displaying for the zero is approx 2000 and for the one is approx 1250 so this is what we are going to see about the count with the help of count plot. even you can just see with the help of uh, that is a uh, we can just write here values count okay value df for the, uh, portability you can just write here portability okay and then after we can just write the value underscore counts you can just go with this and you are able to see that with the zero you are getting 1998 total number of zeros that is basically the total number of rows as zero means the particular you are getting more for the features data that contains that is really a bad for drinking water okay and for the one you are getting as 278 so i hope so you can just check in this way also and the next thing is that we are going to see some outlier how we are going to deal with, deal with the outlier outlier is basically means that data that is really uh, uh, has behavior is really different from the other data we can say that is basically contains the outlier even that one outlier can affect the all the data because uh, whenever we are going to say that uh, that particular person is uh, now we will check in this also in the by visualizing we will able to see this thing okay so now what we are just writing a visualization of this particular data set and also checking for the outlier this is what we are just doing now so i can just plot this that is a figure that is a figure and for which axis we can just write here figure comma axis and then after you can just have plt dot sub plot okay and then in sub plots we can just write here and and columns that is basically contains the five and rows basically we can just take as two why i'm just taking five and two means total number of you can even count total number of how many columns you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten means total ten figure you need to plot that one okay to see about the for every particular columns you are able you have to just draw a box plot and you will see the how the outline it behaves okay and then after what i'm just doing here so i've already seen even you can just uh, plot the figure size what figure size you need i'm just writing from now that 10 comma 20 is what i have just done and next thing is basically uh, what i can just write here i can we we can just take ax dot index and we can just make as a flat 10 means we want everything in the one that is one direction that is basically it is going to modify from 2d to the 1d okay and next what we are going to take the iterate from call comma values that is in df dot items this is what we are going to write here and then we can just write here snet dot box plot we are going to go with the box plot in the box plot it accept the y value is basically means for which column we are going to take it is already iterable that is for the first time ph or sulfate or solids and then after it contain the up to the portability and then next is basically your the data which data frame we are going to take that is the df we already have and and every time how it will go with the next particular uh, uh, that is the axis you can just write here a axis as a index okay means it will just take a check a change every time axis means the for the first time it will plot for the first axis second time is a second third time is third and this all i have did i did not in slice the index as we can just in in, in slide this index as a zero okay i'm just writing here and now what i have what i have to just do i can just every time i can just increase index as one now let's see if i just going to plot so this is how the box plot it looks like and we are getting this box plots i hope so you will get really a good idea because the in the ph we are getting the most of value between the six and eight see we, we are able to see with this box is basically means total number of more density is you, you are going to get in this particular area but if we are getting some outlier like if we are getting some outlier we can just say like 20 or 30 value we are getting at less than four and, and and then after we are getting some uh, 20 or 40 value that is really great and then uh, that is a 10 that is basically we, we will never drink that water that is really less the ph of 2 or 1 or even the 13 and 14 ph so that is basically contains the outline it can be expectation when the water quality is really not good okay even you can just go with the hardness and the solid uh, this all thing it looks like so we can just see about the solids also we are getting outlier above the 45,000 values okay this all thing we already seen and this but whenever we are going to see about the portability you have this is basically you have uh, you already have the continuous value up to this all the columns col co contain that is all the feature has the continuous value except this one that is basically called as a cat categorical value you can just say or even we can just say about about this one as a because we already seen in this thing so this is really uh, we already seen in this thing that ps hardness of the solids or sulfate they are basically a float data type and this is basically an teaser data type so 
i hope so you can just go more detail in this so this is where we are going to visualize how outline it is going to be looks like so, okay now even we can just do the pair plot to see the what the correlation and this all thing you can just go with the pair plot also that is a pair plot and then after you can just pass simple df you just pass here so this is how it will just a uh, pair plot means for the every plot it is going to be print like how we have done for the heat map this is how for the every 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 row it is going to be compared with the every column so this is how it is going to be look in the pair plot also so once it is done we will going to jump with the next particular visualizing we will use this time that is a plotly in this plotly we will able to see how it really attract and how we can just see uh, with the help of plotly many uh, like a scatter plot or any distinct plot and or something pipe plot this all thing we are going to see in the plotly okay so now for the plotly what we have to do we have to just simply import this particular library okay so which library we are going to take for the plot we import that is basically import once it is going to be done that is a pair plot it takes time because it is plotting for the every call every uh, that is a features every columns which is the every columns if you have total 10 column means 10 cross 10 for the every column you have to plot with the 10 figure so this is how it looks like for the ph we are able to see ph with ph and this if 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 this particular data distributed or the scatter plot is really close then we can just say there has a high correlation and if it is really scattered means that the correlation between them are really not good okay this all thing we are going we already seen in this particular uh that is a video so now what we what we have to do the next so first of all we have to import that uh, plot library i am just going to import here only I can just write import plotly dot express as px okay so it is already have been imported now with the help of plotly we are able to do the first of all I am just going to do uh, draw the pie chart okay so that is basically pie chart uh, for this particular portability means how many you have you can just see we already seen in the count plot that how many zeros we have how many is one we have then we can also do the visualizing with the help of plotly fig equal to px we already imported with the px px that is a plotly as px px dot pi and here we have to pass the simple the data frame and for which particular uh, uh, that is for which particular columns you want to do the pie chart or you want to draw with the plotting of the pie chart okay i want to go with the portability okay Port portability okay and even the third one is a hole means what is the dimension of hole or radius of hole you want that is i am just making as 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.4 that's it and let's also the template you can just pass here if we, i will just make you know how it looks like the first okay pie got extension that is the name where i have just passed the name oh sorry we have to just pass the names not name okay so now this is how it looks and if i'm just writing a fig dot so this is how i'm just plotting this one so this is how it looks this basically it contains the white background if i i, I want to just change the template of this one you can just go with the template okay equal to plotly underscore dark so it is going the background is basically going to be dark i was just talking about this hole the dimension of this hole that is radius we are just saying as 0 0.4 so this was basically 39 basically portability as one 39 percent we are getting the portability as one is as in this data set and portability is equal to zero for the 61 percent of the data okay this what about even we can just do the scatter plot of this thing scatter plot also we can just go with the with the help of plotly and it it is really an attractive library because once we can we already know about the c1 we already know about matplotly but whenever you want to go with some interesting library like the plotting of this library or the library that looks really a uh, good looking then we can just go with this particular plotly you can just write here fig equal to plt that is a px dot scatter I'm just writing ps dot scatter and then after I'm just passing df that is data frame and for which which plot we are going to write the first particular column I'm just taking for now I'm just taking as a ph okay and now the second one I'm just passing this is basically I'm just going to do the scatter plot between the ph column ph features and basically the sulfate feature okay 
means they they both the feature relate to each other because that contain the features and the even you can just pass here the templates already we know about the templates templates basically we need the dark it will look really cool looking it is going to be look so let me <coughs> do this one plotly dot dark okay and then after we can just add a figure fig dot so so once we are just drawing this one we will able to see see this this is how it looks P S equal to sulfate, P S equal to sulfate, and if we are getting P S sulfate and this one, and even we can just pass one more value that is basically a, uh, that is uh, X and Y. We are just going to scatter plot of the sulfate and the P S. How it looks like? It's really a looking a cool libraries, but if you want to do the portability means if you have this feature, if you if the P S is 4.9, if you have sulfate as say 60. Then what is the portability? Whether that particular or drinking water is the safe drinking water or not, you can just do this thing also. Then for that, what we can just pass here the one parameter that is basically a color. Okay, so color we can just pass here color as portability. portability. Let's see what's coming. This so is what I want to show you now. Now it's really looking a cool. We see the if you have a pH as a 5.6 and sulfate as 4.0 and portability, then for that you are getting as a one. But if you are going to blue for blue means for the whenever you are getting a blue data, that is a data value which contains the blue color that has portability as zero and and if it is a yellow color that portability as one. Okay. So this how we are going to do the scatter plot is really an attractive library that is a plotly. I hope so. I will just recommend it to you also that you just go with the plotly more because nowadays data analysis are means you can just if not is not a compulsory that you are just using a good logic but also the way you are just going to visualize the way you are going to do the present that attract the most to the clients. So that what we can just do. even you can just do uh, plotly of any other features also. I can just do copy paste and then I can pass for the different particular x and y. Okay. So for now I'm now I can go with the organic. That is basically one contains the organic. I hope so. I have just saw somewhere. Uh, basically where whenever we see this one, organic carbon. The first one we are going to do and the second we are going to do with the hardness. Let's see what's the it's get stacked. So it is. There is scatter plot of that one carbon plus one is basically so why is basically hardness this is how we are getting so this is what we are i have to show you that you can just do do so many as plot of this one so for now i'm just going to go with the two scatter plot the one we have done with ph and sulfate and in that we have just do the color as portability means if we you have the yellow color we already seen this thing and even in, in this also we are able to see the separate of this thing so this way also you can just do the data visualizing term so that's all about the data visualizing terms in the next video we are going to see about how to deal with the null values how to remove the null values and we'll start with the machine learning algorithm that's all thank you